Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Um, so let's look at a Russian pen. Or actually, no longer a Russian pen. They have moved. Anyway, we're going to look at a Ben Yu. Uh, this is the first Ben Yu I've actually had the opportunity to review. And I borrowed it from a pen pal. Uh, we had a, my, my pen club, club had a pen swap a few weeks ago. And a friend of mine gave me this just to take home and see how I liked it and what I thought of it. I've tried a Benue once before, probably from the same person, just to write with, and I was surprised how smooth it was. And Benue is one of those companies that I just don't know how I feel about them. I, I can see the attraction. They're, they're really fun pens. Like That's the easiest description to give it. They're glitzy, they're over the top, you know, they're almost like uh, pieces of jewelry in some ways. They're a lot of fun, <clears throat> which raises the question whether I'm a lot of fun. Hmm. <laughs> because I know what I've noticed one thing about myself. I really love like a black pen with, say, gold trim or a black pen with silver trim. I really like black pens. And this is a black pen. And it has all this little glitter and bejeweled sections in it. And there, there's faceting. It's it's a traditional shape in some ways. Like the traditional cigar shape. Cigar shape or say like a... Um, uh, I don't have it here. But it, when I think of say the arrow, uh, diplomat arrow and, and the... Um, airships style that it, the body has there's a similarity here uh in this pen so what do you get you get actually what is a fairly good sized pen like i'm gonna put it next to say the studio uh the lamy 2000 which is one of my favorite pens this is to my taste and I'm actually kind of liking the the Ben Yu and the way I look at it. <laughs> and this is the uh, Pilot Prera. So in some ways, it's it's a girthier, thicker pen than, well, it is a, a bigger bodied, thicker body uh, than the Lamy 2000. And it's a much bigger pen than the Pilot Prera, which is actually almost a pocket pen in many cases. So we're going to take a little look at this pen. I'm just going to set these aside, pull that up again. I really like these little uh, cut long facets that are all across the body and in the cap. And as you turn them, they they give a very nice, you know, reflective, decorative appeal to it. And I wonder, what would this pen be like if, it, if they came out with, say, like a stealth version, you know, without the glitter, just these facets... And as you turn it, you get the beautiful reflections of light. Well, that would be kind of nice too, actually. But all in all, I do like these, the, the, the glitter and things like that. I like the, I could appreciate the fact that it's a fun pen. One thing I've noticed when I, when I saw photos of these pens, uh, online and things like that i often think of them as being heavier uh a heavier pen but holding this it's 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 a fairly light pen it's um 20 grams uh in weight uh so that's not overly heavy you know but it has a nice feel to it i like the faceting it gives it a nice texture it's uh it feels nice in the hand the uh resin is light but uh it seems well made. It, um, you know, it's very smooth, very glossy, cool to touch. So let's give some uh, details about this little pen or this big pen. So it's a Benu. It's this is the Briolet medium nib, and it's called Storm Black. This is that's the name of the the finish. Uh, it's a twist cap. And inside you'll find a Schmidt nib. <clears throat> Schmidt uh, is a well-known pen manufacturer, uh, or nib manufacturer, I sh should say. So the body is 
16.6 millimeters. Uh, the cap is also, uh, that's diameter, I should say. The, the diameter of the body is 16.6 millimeters. The cap, the diameter is 16.6 millimeters. It's a screw cap, like I said. It, the grip is, oh, hello. My, my, the star of my last video has shown up. <laughs> this is a Maya. The other day I was trying to do a video on Pelican inks and she was absolutely in love with that ink. So I guess she came to see if I was going to do more ink. Anyway, well, anyway, she's going to hang out with me. So the, the section right here, the grip is nine millimeters. And I'm feeling it. It's almost a little narrow for my taste, but, um, you know, I have grips that that that's small too on other pens i notice there is a step right here uh where the where the threads meet the body it's quite a pronounced step up but it doesn't bother me i'm feeling it i like that it does it's not sharp it's not distracting it's actually something to grip onto i can put my grip in here I wouldn't hold the pen too far back, oddly enough, but right there is actually good where the step is. It kind of gives you something to lock onto. Yeah. Hmm. So it's a cartridge converter filling system. Let's take it open. And I believe it, wow, that's a lot of screws. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I believe it's a standard international converter. I don't think they have a proprietary system. And there's a little converter in there. Um, let's see. So the cartridge holds 1.62 milliliters and the converter holds less. It would hold 1.08 milliliters of ink. And I'm not going to ink this up. I am going to dip it though. Okay. Cause, uh, I was, my, my friend said I could, uh, ink it up, but I'm just going to dip, dip the pen and then I'll wash it out. And let's see what else we can t tell you about this, uh, this pen. So, Overall, when it's capped, the length is 137.5 millimeters long. The nib is 16.7 millimeters long. It's not a huge nib. It's, um, I would say that's what, stand, it, it's probably no bigger than actually the, the Prera. Let's take a look. Actually, they're pretty similar in size. Yeah. So not a huge nib. Um, let's see. So we were doing some stats. The body is 126.7 millimeters long. The cap is 60.3. The nib is 16.7. Overall, when it's closed, it's 137.5 millimeters. Nice, nice size pen. Now it does not post. There's absolutely no way this pen will ever post. Let me end. That's uh, when you, you know, I'm not pushing it there, but you can automatically, uh, right away, you can tell that that is never going to post. Another thing about this pen, there's no clip. <clears throat> it's a clipless pen. But because of the little facets, you don't have to worry about it rolling off unless my cat here, who you see right here, mm -hmm. hi, unless she decides to bat it off, but she, she won't. She's a, a fountain pen lover herself, right? Right. She's just looking at me. Okay. So I'm going to do a little writing sample. So it has a Schmidt nib. Now I'm trying to think what other pens I have that have a Schmidt nib. Correct me if I'm wrong. Did Retro 51 at one time have Schmidt nibs? Hmm, I could be wrong. I'll have to check that. So what I'm going to use is just a little bit of, um, Oh, she's looking at the ink. Okay. She's like, oh, here she comes. Okay. Yeah, here she comes. Oh, dear. <laughs> no, don't get your nose blue. Okay. Stay out of the ink. So I'm going to use Waterman Serenity Blue. I'm just going to dip the the, um, the nib. And yeah. I'm thinking Retro 51 at one point might have had schnip, Schmidt nibs. And I'm thinking... Quebeco uses Bach nibs? I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. What other pens use Schmidt nibs? Hmm. So, the 
quick. Brown. Jumps. Hmm. Now that's that's a medium nib on this one. And I'm assuming it's a plastic feed. Um, Waterman Serenity Blue. So, hmm. that's actually a very nice writer. It's smooth with just a hint of feedback, which is quite nice, actually. Very nice. No great line variation. It's a... Uh... Doesn't really reverse right that much, but that's just be might be because I dipped it. Yeah, nice medium line. <laughs> she wants me to open the ink again. Nice medium line. It's very, um, like I said, smooth. Little bit of feedback on it. My cat is approving of Waterman Serenity Blue. She likes it. And, uh, hmm. Yeah. So overall, this is a, a lovely little pen. Uh, very nice writer. Schmidt nib. Um, steel, of course. Um, uh, I don't know if Schmidt nibs come in gold. I don't know if you can change that out for a gold nib. I don't see why you would. Um, now, Ben Yu is an interesting company. They make all sorts of finishes and different models. And they seem to be coming out with new finishes uh, all the time, new color combinations. They do... Um, they do... Uh, collabs with different companies. I'm thinking Goulet Pens has a special um, Bennu pen for their company. Um, they do other ones too, I believe. And it's one of those things, if you get in, if you're into Bennu, there's always going to be stuff to, 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 uh, to collect. Um, would I own a Bennu? You know, if this was just black, I might actually, this is actually one of my this is actually one, even with the glitter, I kind of like it. Um, yeah, maybe I would. I, I, a lot of them I'm not attracted to, but this, I like black. This is nice. This is kind of fun. I could get used to the sparkles. <laughs> all in all, though, it's a very nice writing, writing uh, experience. And I... I do like very, I like smooth nibs. Um, everybody likes smooth nibs, but I also like a nib that has just a little bit of feedback in it, which allows you to know that you're writing and it just gives it a sort of a tactile sensation, feels nice in the hand, you know, that just getting a bit of response from the pen. All in all, I would um, say that I like this pen, my first impression of it. I like it probably more than most venues that I have seen. I don't know if I'd ever want to own one. Um, I'm grateful that a friend of mine uh, allowed me to borrow this. Um, once again, like, this might be too much fun for me. <laughs> That's a sad statement, isn't it? You know, when I think of my, my, as you get into fountain pens and the hobby and you're trying out different things, you, you start to realize what your tastes run to. And like, I love a black pen. I love a black pen with gold finish. I love a black pen with silver trim. You know, uh, it's just who I am. I do also like my Pilot Prera. You know, I like a transparent pen too. And there's a little bit of color on that. And that's kind of fun. Yeah. But glitter. Hmm. I, I can see my... My daughter really enjoying this. I can see my son really enjoying this. I can see lots of people really enjoying this pen. It's a lovely little pen. So anyway, <clears throat> all in all, I really like the pen.
And I hope you liked the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and I invite you to subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you're new around here, um, I have other videos. I'll be posting links in the end screen here. There'll be stuff coming up. Uh, a video you can watch in a playlist, etc., etc. So anyway, hope you have a great day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's 2024. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.